How important is lighting to you? I'm hoping that is as important to you like it is to me. I want to introduce to you guys two lights, the Amaron 150C and the Amaron 300C. So my reason for updating my lights is I want a, a, a greater range from my lights. The lights that I had before were the small rig 220B. These are 220 watt light, but you, these are just the cob lights. They only have the, the warm color and the cool color from 2500 to 7500 um, Kelvin. And these are pretty good lights. I've been using these for a couple of years now and they serve me really well. But I want to extend my range to be able to provide more variety of light. And what I mean by that is I want to be able to, if you can see my background right here, I want to be able to change my colors of my light with a touch of a dial, just like that. Uh, what I'm using right here, guys, is the Status Link app. And with this app, I'm able to sit in one space or rather, I'm able to sit in one location and not move and be able to change my colors easily without even making a move from my chair, which is what I love. And if it, if it, as you notice from the intro of the video, I was able to turn all my lights on with just one click. And that's one of the reasons why I'm, I'm kind of switching over to the Amaron lighting system. I'm sure you guys have seen my video before where I introduced to you the, P, the PT4C um, lights and these are tube lights and I have both of them right here beside me now that is actually giving me a nice rim light on both sides of my face. And now I'm actually using the 300C right now in this video, what is my main light now and I'm using it for the 150C in the back. So I want to just get into a little bit more details about these lights. So these lights are the RGB WW Cobb Mono lights. What that is, is at the front of the light, it produces the color of red, red, green, blue, and cool white and warm white LED, right? That is, that is how it's able to produce the different colors like I mentioned that is happening in the background right here. I can have this in the background with my orange and if I go to my main light, which is the 300C and if I choose, I can always go to let's say blue or red or a nice, a nice shade of green. But you get, my, you, get my, you get the understanding of what I'm trying to say. And I love that capability. So if in, in other words, I actually did a photo shoot recently and I can show you some examples on the screen from the shoot. And from those pictures, you can see the versatility of having a colored um, LED light. And the 300C light is a 300 watt power light and the 150C light is a 150 watt power light. I have some notes here with me and with the, the 150C, it gives the same color range of 2500 to 7500 K and also the Lux is 15,610 Lux, that's the 150C and the 300C give the same range in terms of the 2500 Kelvin to 7500 Kelvin uh, but this one gives you a 26,580 Lux which is pretty good. So you get a really nice power light and the one that I had before which is a 220C. Like I mentioned before, were pretty good lights. And the only reason for me to change it is just that I want that a wider range of colors with um, my lights. So in going to this now is, I wanna show you guys the layout of the back of the light. All right, so this is how the light looks from the back. So right now you have two knobs here. You have the controls that changes the intensity of the light and also this is actually gonna change the mode of the light from the CCT 
and also you can change green and magenta tints. So you also have a button to reset your Bluetooth. And then if, you, if I adjust the lighting from the back here, you can see where the power cable goes. And also you're gonna have a power switch under the bottom right here. So you have the umbrella attachment right here. And it is pretty smooth in terms of the movement of the lights. And I really do like that. However, like most other lights, you can't really readjust the, the adjustment right here. Because oftentimes you're able to pull it out and push it back in and rotate it to a different angle. But you can't really do it with this. But I don't think it's necessary for this particular light. So what I'll do, what I'll do guys is also show you the top of the light here. Right now, the light is at about 32% and I can't even hear the fan blowing right now. So if you're someone who is worried whether or not this light is going to be very loud when it comes on to a uh, sound coming back into your mic, you can't hear anything. If I should increase the power, let's say I want to increase the intensity all the way up to 100 right now it's at 100 and i can't hear the, the the fan if i put my microphone there now you literally can't hear anything and this light has been running for some time now so i really do love this so far about this light and like i mentioned before the body structure of the 150c and the 300 is pretty much the same the only thing that's different like i mentioned before is the fact that this is a 300 watt and this is a 150 watt light and the pricing difference is not too different even though when i got these lights i got it on the sale price so um, right now the price for the 300 is um, is 569 and the 150 is 359 so it's a $200 difference um, between each of these lights so what I want to also talk about is I like I mentioned before I love the versatility in terms of the color ranges that you do get with these lights um, although you can control everything from the back of the light here you have the Silas Link app that you can actually control all the actual settings um, of this particular light. So if I should go into this light now, the 150C, and I'm gonna bring back the intensity down, we have the usual suspects. If I go to the main, the first menu here, you have your whites, so you have your intensity right here, and you have the different um, uh, ranges that you can have with the color. You also have the CCT. So you have the standard, like I mentioned before, that goes to all the way up to 7,500 Kelvin and all the way back down to 2,500 Kelvin. But you, you also do have an expanded. If you click on the expanded, now you have from uh, 1500K all the way up to 20,000K. And that to me is fantastic. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring it back to the standard and I'm also going to just bring it down to the warm tone. And like I mentioned before, you do have the green and magenta tint uh, adjustment inside the app as well as you do have it on the back of the light. So let's move on. So we also have the gel feature. You guys can check that out when you do have it because you also do have it with the, 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 um, the tube lighting as well. All right, so you have your half CTO, without a CTO, full CTO. So if I do go into those, you can see that the colors is actually changing, but I'm just gonna put it without CTO. So also, you also, like I mentioned before, you do have the color option to choose different color variations with the light. And of course, with every light, you do have the effect. The beautiful thing about this though is with the normal, um, I think it's a 200XS uh, Amaron light, 
those only have the warm and the cool colors but they also have the effects with the color so if I should go to the effects section and let's say I choose fireworks and I click on the play button you can see that it's actually kind of cycling through different colors so if I, you have the white here you have the color and you have the multi so if I go over to the color section now you will probably see it going through the different colors as you can see right here so I think this is a really good light to have guys and also you can like i mentioned before you can go to the different settings you have the the faulty bulb and you have the that effect kind of going right there so if you're doing something let's say a, a small uh video set with this kind of effect that you would like to have this is actually a good um, feature to have i think with this particular light and also when we go back to the i love also with this light is if you're in a location where you would like to um let's say you want to match the colors of a, of the light with a particular uh, section of the room you can actually do that with this app which i think is one of the most uh beautiful things to have so guys let me know what you think of these lights right here i can actually i'm actually putting my hand right here you now guys and i can actually feel the heat coming up from the light but I'm right next to the light and I can't even hear the fan kicking. And this is how good this light is so far. So I'm really and truly liking this. Cause the one thing with these lights too, even though I never had the problem with the fan, the fan is a little bit louder on this light right here. And let me just turn off the effect over here. Sorry guys. Let's stop that. Put it on 32 and bring the power down. Yeah, so the thing I like about, I still like these lights, um, but for what I'm doing right now, because I really want to extend the range of my videos and you know, to make it a little bit more, whether it's gonna be cinematic or otherwise, I want to get a little bit more range from my lights. But these are still fantastic lights, very in, it's, it's in mint condition. And I, I, I might sell these, I'm not too sure. If you, any of you guys are interested in, in, in this light, you can let me know. Um, but yeah, I, I really and truly like in the new system from Amaron and the fact that I can just control everything from just one app. The, the thing I like about it too is the fact that you can set your lighting up with whatever power or colors that you're thinking of using and you turn off the app when it's two to seven days you come back to the app the settings is still there that is how you had me that is how when you at the intro of the video i i i literally did that little intro with the lights being turned on that's why i really love this um lighting system right here and from what i've heard so far Sidus link app is one of the best apps on the market you guys can let me know in the comment section below how true that truly is. I'll also be introducing you guys to another video that is coming up maybe next week. Um, I want to show you guys a full behind the scenes of a photo shoot that I actually did with this, the lights, and also a new attachment that I'll be introducing you guys to. So stay tuned for that, guys. Um, subscribe to the channel if you want, if you're interested in, you know, seeing more videos like this in terms of gears and different lighting, um, because the channel is definitely growing, and I have you guys to thank for this. And I just want to let you guys know that, you know, in the upcoming weeks or months or whatever, I'm going to be trying to do more lighting stuff maybe with models and also some more behind the scenes because like i mentioned before guys in other videos the wedding season is still going on so it's kind of hard for me sometimes when it's a little bit crazy for me to give you guys a behind the scenes but uh i'm going to be doing one soon so you guys can stay tuned for that and you can also check out other videos in in you can check out the other videos in my in my channel for all the bts that you can see um how i operate with clients and how i do my lighting whether it's it's flash or it's natural lighting guys so if you guys enjoyed this video smash that like button and if you guys are new to the channel subscribe for more and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace <laughs>